now CEO of CAK Entertainment. Branding expert Charles Koppelman, his management agency, represents clients, including, you know, J-Lo. Mark Anthony, Adam Levine, Nicki Minaj, and Wendy Williams. Also, you know, of course. Wow. Also, exactly. some some sort of people you may have heard you of. You might have heard of them. In the past, Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, Diana Ross, the four top share, Tracy Chapman, them. Michael Bolton, uh, Wilson Phillips, Vanilla Ice, Robbie wow. Robertson, He's New also, Kids on the Block, Ice House, and uh, Jesus He's also Jones, the who had one of the, the best songs. And of, CEO yeah. of Martha Stewart and living on the media. Love her. All right. You know about brands, and I read an article in Fast Company. You had great tips for brands. The one that really struck home for me was empty barrels make the most noise, so shut up. I got to learn that one. So I appreciate that. But we thought it'd be great to have you talking about. Well, you know, the empty barrel, uh, when I did the interview, she didn't, she didn't take the last part of it. The oh. last part is that empty barrels make the most noise, so people don't listen to it. But if you listen, that's the key. The key is listening. Not talking. So now, I know that's hard for this kind of show. Yeah, oh, for this kind of show. Well, you talk. We're talking about brands. We're trying to figure out Donald Trump, Ben Carson. Let's talk about Donald Trump first. Talk about his brand. Well, his brand, obviously, he's been building forever. And it's true. I mean, he is strong. He is a leader. Um, he is successful. Um, he's rich. That's his brand. Now, all of those attributes... Very aspirational, right? Uh, all those attributes are what everybody wants to achieve in their lifetime. The one thing I would do, and I like Donald, the one thing I would do if I were Donald Trump is, is he also lives the real golden rule, doing to unto others as you have others do unto you. His perception is that he's the wrong golden rule, the guy with the gold makes the rule. Right. But he really lives his life... Mm -hmm. Do, un, do unto others. Well, people that he actually should, know Donald know that he actually is a uh, yeah, generous my point. guy. But, but that's that the only point that he does, that's the only area that he yeah. doesn't project, which I think he needs to, to take it to the next How level. do you do, like people that know his family say he's raised these incredible kids. I mean, is yes. that one, how do you, is that part of what you deploy surrogates? Well, or well, how do you further well, that, that? that certainly, you know, a, the measure of a man or a woman. Uh, uh, you look at your children, you mm -hmm. look at your grandchildren, uh, you know, how, how, what are they, how are they? Right. Now, one could give more credit to Ivanka uh, or to Donald, but the truth is he's a very active And this father. is the thing he yeah. says off the air, too, is when we talk about how his kids are, he goes, They've, you know why? They've got a great mom. Aww. And and he says that They're when nobody's really looking, mm -hmm. off the nice camera. What, what would you do about a candidate who uh, is not wearing the microphone, we're not on TV, it's not on the record and everything like that? She is funny, she is open, uh, she's got a terrific personality. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and you uh, see her... You know, but, but the camera's it, turned it, it, on. Here's the deal oh. with Hillary. Um, her person, her brand, yeah. is Bill Clinton. And that's the, that's the problem. Oh. Everything else is contrived. Everything else looks like it's studied. It's not natural at all. Mm. And of course, Bill's brand is sincerity. And if you can fake that, you've got everything. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, talking, wow. About, talking about Where sincerity, Bernie Sanders, what's his brand? Um, I think it's real. I think his brand is that he is the champion of the working man. I think mm -hmm. he's grown up. His How life. important is the authenticity at the end of the day, whether you're a politician on stage, whether you're a musician on stage, whether you're an actor on Broadway? Truth wins out at the end of the day. Hmm. At the end of the day. Even in your cynical business. Even in my cynical truth business. Truth wins out. Tr truth wins out if you're a great songwriter. Truth wins out if you're a great artist. You can't really fake it. You can only fake it up to a point. The, the truth right. comes out. You can get lucky, mm -hmm. but, you know, my mother always said, you know, luck comes to visit. It doesn't come to stay. Yeah. So you have to make the most of that luck if you've got it. Isn't that a great line? Luck I comes to it. visit. It doesn't it. come to stay. With, with, with Bernie Sanders, uh, it can, can rage, whether it's, you know, high-octane rage or low-level rage, can rage be a positive in a long, long run? You know, most, most people um, want to be Donald Trump. They may not want to have him as president, but they want Donald Trump, his lifestyle, what he is yeah. all about. They, they want to be him. Aspirational, yeah. It's, it's asp aspirational. I don't know whether most people want to be Bernie Sanders. Okay. Uh, they understand what he's talking about. Sure. They actually get it. 
They know he's but fighting for them. He's their voice. So help us out here. Help, help us. We need your help. Help. That's why we brought you here. Ben Carson. Crack the code. Talk to us. Uh, you know, I've been doing. Uh, you know, I've been in the music business and the entertainment business my entire life. This is a true mystery. <laughs> I mean. Welcome we brought you to on our table. table. Uh, 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 because you are the guy. Uh, 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 we thought you were the Dalai Lama you know, of I, I saw Tracy Chapman in Boston at a little club with three people and knew instantly she was going to be a giant star. My yeah. son actually found her. Uh, but Ben Carson? I, I, I'm dumbfounded. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, isn't it that he's kind and he's civilized at a time when people think politics is neither of those things? Yeah, but I mean, not to be, you know, Trump, but but he's asleep. <laughs> I mean, what? He's what are asleep. You, ben, they're calling you on the red phone. Ben, I mean, it doesn't work. It's like Donald said it the other day. Work. Ben Why Carson's in first place in an Iowa uh, poll. We tried to work? call him, but he was. That's asleep. for another show. I'll come right. back. I'll figure it out. Why I don't. I don't. I need you to. I don't. I can't do it. Charles, could you figure? It out. It, I'm serious. We're going to give you this assignment. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And we're going to call you back next I can't week. Just no and we're going to talk about Ben assignment. Carson because the thing is, it is massive. It is real. It, it is out there. It is. And if it, and it, if, you, if you had a music act that had that sort of grassroots support in clubs all across America, you'd sign him in a second. Cerebral is is the only possible. Charles Cobbleman, thank you very much. My pleasure. I love it.